Well, here we are, another video from the office. Um, just thought I'd take a few minutes and post up a video here. This is one of those uh, spots that uh, it's an intersection, funnel, whatever you want to call it. We have a road that leads to another big field and road down that way and it comes through this grassy field. This road comes right up to this intersection or T if you will. That road runs right on down into the the woods right there. And then it comes on over and this road continues right on up through here and right on down through the woods there and that leads to another couple intersections that lead to fields and and uh, travel routes and what have you so it's it's one of those areas that every foot trapper knows there would have to be a foot there have to be a set here one or two at least it's one of those spots that every raccoon every fox every coyote when they're in the area they're going to come right through here they're going to be at this spot right here every time they come through now here in New Jersey I can't set foot snares or foot traps rather we can only hang cable restraints. So this makes a still a great spot to set up a bunch of uh, cable restraints or snares uh, if your state allows it. And by the way, I want to add that the only difference between a snare and a cable restraint is a swivel, a deer stop, and in some places a breakaway. Okay, a snare and a cable restraint is set the exact same way for me. If I'm in a state that I'm hanging a snare, I'm going to hang it the same way as I set my cable restraints here in my home state. Um, now, one of the biggest questions that will be asked is, how would you set this up with cable? Well. That's what we're going to show you in the South Jersey Trapping and Snaring School, how to set up an area like this. We're going to show you the spots that we could hang our cable. Even though there's a lot of folks driving through here. Okay, and you can see right here. You can see all the tire tracks and people driving through. But we have plenty of places that we could uh, hang cable and make catches, good catches, because as the animals are coming into these areas, they're going to shoot off, if you will, on these little trails and these little spots to go off into the woods to investigate things. So we'll teach you that at the South Jersey Driving and Snaring School. And uh, typical pine woods or pine lands, if you will, of, of our area. You have a thick, overgrown area with blueberry bushes and pine trees and oaks and just great food source. Uh, the reason I'm uh, shooting this video now in the summertime is because that's when I do my scouting. I can see these runs and trails real easy in this vegetation. And then when uh, this coming trapping season starts, all I've got to do is come back and set the cable up on those those areas. All right? Because they're still going to travel those areas. So just some food for thought. Um, everybody depends on the foot traps and me anymore, I depend on cable. Well, just some thoughts from the office. Uh, Rednecks Pride Outdoors.